morning, Hector Cat Fraud Eagles. Today is January 5th. It's a Wednesday, and it's day three of our specials rotation. Please stand as Miss Graham's class introduces themselves and leads us in the pledge. Gabriel Hernandez, Marjorie, Alyssa, Austin, Giovanni Romero, Inoa. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. <clears throat> All right, we're back. It's Wednesday, the it's middle Wednesday, of the week. Wednesday, yes. Lots of teaching and learning happening. I feel like we're off to an amazing start of 2022. And I'm hoping that piece of paper you have next to you. Oh boy. Is that our word counts? Well, we're doing, I want to do our New Year's resolution oh, here. Okay. And, we, and then I do want to give our little update of our Ooh. word count. Oh, anyway, we are getting an update. I just want to give a little update. Because remember, we only have, we have till Friday. So Friday is our okay. last day. Okay. So I just want to give a little update. I was getting there. a little nervous, Mr. <laughs> we are getting close. Though, okay. Yeah. So um, one of the things I know we've been talking about those New Year's resolutions and kind of setting a goal and being responsible goes right with our three R's. Be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. And I know I told you I want to share some students that have set some resolutions for this year. So uh, my first one I talked to today was Joseph Barahona in Miss March class. And he said his is more at home. He says, I want to help out my dad more at home. He says, the one thing I could do that is by picking up around the house. Oh, that's I very would. helpful. Yep. Yeah, so like my shoes, my things like that. He says, I want to help out more at the house with that. So I thought my that kids like cool. to just leave them wherever they <laughs> took them off. Yes, that's... So that would definitely help his dad. Right exactly. Um, I have Isabella Morrow in Miss Priscilla Kino's room. She says she wants to improve her grades, and she said she could do that by paying attention more. So she hers is more like a school-based focus right there. Okay. I love that. Awesome. And then we have Kiyoi Sapata in Miss Henshaw's room. She says she wants to be part of the Girl Scouts this Oh, wow. Year. Join a group. And she wants to join a group, and she said she wants to help sell the cookies, be part of a, part of a team group right there. So awesome. I thought that was pretty cool there. Awesome. Those um, were some great, great yeah. New Year's resolutions. Yes. Um, and again, like we said, Friday's the end of our second quarter, which means we're at the end of our word counts right there, which means the top class, most improved class, and then we have our school right there. So I'm just going to just quickly... Kind of just tell who are the top classes and most improved right now. We okay. still have two more days, okay? So first grade, we have Miss Tipple with the most, okay. most points. And we have Miss Finley's class now the most improved awesome. right there. So good. In second grade, Miss March class is the most is has the most points. Okay. And Miss Howard's class okay. right now is with the most improved. In third grade, just barely at the top is Miss Mujica's class, Ooh. still is at the most. It's still a race, huh? It's still a race. And then Miss Castro's class is the most improved right Coming now. Coming out strong. Yep. In fourth grade, Miss Sir's class is at the top right there with the most points. Uh, and Mr. Johnson's class has been the most improved right now. Okay. And then fifth grade, Miss Toomey's class has the most points. And Miss Hernandez's class is most improved. So Very nice. Remember, we still have a couple more days. And again, our school-wide goal... We are very, very close to those 20 million words. So let's that keep reading. That is unbelievable. And we are just over 19 million right there. So we're getting very, very close unbelievable. right there. So. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right. You were talking about cookies before, so I got hungry. <laughs> Made me think. What's for lunch today? Today for lunch, we will have apples, veggie dips, grilled chicken sandwich, or a wild butter sandwich. Grilled chicken is on okay. the menu. So thank you to Miss Heather and her crew yes. in the cafe. You're doing a great job. Exactly, yeah. yep. Um, we also have some birthdays today. Oh, birthday today, which I saw Mari this morning. You told me it's Josiah Malcolm in grade four. Happy birthday. And Kendrick Puntriano in, great, in kindergarten. Happy awesome. birthday today. Happy birthday to both of you. We hope that you have a great day. Um, I've been thinking about some things. Okay. So I don't know if you know this, but the word resolution, you know, it's New Year's resolution. Okay. 
in that word is a base word, solution. Solution, yep. Right, so I've been thinking about solutions. Right now we have a lot going on in our world with COVID and people getting sick again and everything. And one of the solutions is that we can all wear a mask. So I would just ask that everyone, please wear your mask over your nose and mouth. It's to keep you safe and keep everybody else safe. It also is right in line with being respectful, responsible is, too, absolutely. you know? Yep. So we all have to do our part. I know it's not ideal. I know it's not fun. I certainly am tired of wearing our masks. However, if we can do it to keep less people from getting sick, let's do it for the next few weeks so that we can get through this and then move on with our year. Yep. Good okay? message right there, yeah. All right, also teachers, um, we do have some staff out today. Thank you to everybody that is covering. I don't know what else to say except for thank you. Yeah. Um, it takes our whole family and our home te whole team to support each other, and that's exactly what's happening and what we're doing, so we really appreciate that. And to end our day, we do have a call in and win today, so take us to the Science Lab. Lab. There we go. All right, and Mr. Ken's about to bring this up on the screen, okay? And this is, we're going to space. Okay, we're going to space here. All right, it says, what is the best term for a mixture of frozen gases, okay. ice, dust, and rock that orbits the sun? Is it A, asteroid, B, comet, C, meteor, or D, moon? Mm. If you know the answer, please dial extension okay. 208, and we have someone calling in. Good morning, you're on the air. Who's this? It's Miss Simonette's class. Hi, Miss Simonette. We think that it's B Comet. It is B Comet. All right. Congratulations to Miss Simonette's class. You guys have won. An asteroid, just so you know, is made up of only rock and dust. There's okay, no ice. Okay? okay. And a meteor has rock or iron. The moon is a natural satellite, yep. of course, so it or, so it orbits a larger orbital body like a planet, but not the so sun. So the, co the comet includes all of them. Right, right, and it's the right. only one that orbits, orbits the, sun, the sun, right? A moon orbits another body like Earth, Yep. right? Another okay. planet. All right, awesome. Congratulations cool. to Ms. Simonette's class. You've won a dress down day. We will see you back here tomorrow. Don't forget to be respectful, be responsible, be ready to learn, and most importantly, remember that what? Smile for Smiles are free today, so share one with a friend. Happy Wednesday.